Alrighty, guys, thank you for your patience. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. All right, yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> nice. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Thanks for the info. Bye. chip I think we already talked about that um, I'm sure saying we have a crime to report just tells me we need to go to the sheriff so don't need that okay bye Chip. Oh. Well, there's Matt. Um. Huh. This guy? Tried going in there before and start a fight. Well, yeah, but we need more detailed information. So what am I forgetting, guys? Aren't we supposed to talk to someone before we go out looking for stuff? Yeah, apparently not. Or is it already on the map? I don't think so. Really? Oh, maybe it was over this way. Alright. 
I can see that. Well, that makes a difference. <laughs> you look like a doctor, and I don't want to lose my eye again. You know I could help drum up some business. I'm very good at hurting people. Alright, maybe later. Jane. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? I have no idea anything about you. I'm interested in your church, and I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me, and I will have you thrown out. Whoa, my bad. Alright. Well, I don't necessarily want to start, uh, start a fight so let's let's hold off on that one <laughs> all right here are the water merchants gotcha yeah i could kind of tell man someone cooked something upstairs it smells so good like it smells like pizza <laughs> that's awesome I don't care what they say. We need new parts. Oh, yes. Sorry, what can I do for you? You have a water chip. Water chip. Hmm. Oh, those old vault purifying control chips? Well, I'm sure I speak for the entire town. Gosh darn it. When I say you won't find one here, without the proper equipment, they're worthless. Only a vault or maybe necropolis would have any use for one. Why do you ask? My vault's chip broken. I'm looking for a replacement. Really? Well, as you probably have heard, we supply a great deal of water throughout the area. I'm sure we could arrange to send a caravan up to your vault for a fee. How much are we talking about? Well, it is quite a distance away. 2,000 caps should cover the initial caravan. Wait a second. How do you know where? I didn't tell you where my, car my vault is. Something's fishy. A 2,000 cap should cover the initial caravan, and I'm sure your vault will have stuff to trade to keep keep us going for a while. However, with our current reserves, I'm guessing that we'll only be able to keep your vault going for an extra 100 days or so. How convenient. I don't have the money. Hmm... We're trying to negotiate down to 1,000 or 500. Well, I don't think I need to do this just yet. I'll come back when I have the caps.
Oh gosh. I forgot I was that low. Very nice looking bed. Be a shame if it were to catch on fire. Wow. All right, so clearly I missed something here. I need to go do something else to get money. But I was supposed to be coming here to get money. For a job. Right? So far, we're not finding too many things to take, at least in this town. Oh, excuse me. Tell me where I am. You're in the south end of the hub. If you look around, you'll find the water merchants in a small hospital. A hospital? The children of the cathedral run a small hospital here in the hub. They seem like a decent bunch. I don't know about that. Hey, what's going on? Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the... Munif... Munificent? At your service. I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest. A maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution. Anywhere in the hub. Um, actually, I was hoping you could share some information. Well, I suppose. What do you need to know about? What about the children of the cathedral? I can't say I'm too impressed. Um, I run an honest, respectable business, and they accuse me of being a thief.
The nerve of those people. They think a vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. Mm, vow of poverty? I'll bet their leader, the Morpheus character, he's not broke. No, sir. I'll bet that over L.A. Boneyard. He's just living it up. Okay, what about finding some work? What about Decker? He's a great guy. Good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. What about those missing caravans? Deathclaw. It's gotta be the Deathclaw. No one's safe anymore. What about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're a credit to their species. Whichever one that is. <laughs> um, misunderstandings? Like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker set them straight. Well, bye. See you around, pal. Ah, we are supposed to avoid this place. All right, so you have that. We could maybe take a little bit of time to run back and get some armor to bring back and sell. Yeah. Hey, you. Hmm. Hey there. How are you doing? The name's Dimitri. Dimitri Romera. Head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Yeah, so? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two. Seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well. We pay well. Oh, yes, we do. We've just had a, a few new openings, if you're interested. But of course you are, right? What's the pay? We pay 600 bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? Of course I am. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, it's just what I'm looking for. Just talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll she'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. You barter? A little bit. In the next room, which would be this way. <laughs> so he gave you the okay to work with us, eh? Well, you must have balls of steel. I'm impressed, but we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month on the 3rd and 17th. Can you handle that? We go to all the local hotspots. The Brotherhood of Steel, Junk <laughs> Junktown... Necropolis and L.A. Boneyard. And the pay? Our pay is the best. 600 scripts. And yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride. 
and you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders, or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave on January 17th. Are you interested? <laughs> yeah, it might be the hottest or easiest spot. I think I'm interested in you. <laughs> we gotta try it. Intriguing, but you're not my type. Um, the 17th, that's 10 more days. Yeah, I guess... I guess we could set that up. Sure. Cool, the next one's going out on January 17th. Come back then, and I'll put you on a caravan. As always, it pays 600 scripts. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yes, please repeat the details. Not exactly very much information. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's nothing for me to do with them. Like, I don't need to go out anywhere. So I guess I'm just a little confused on essentially what's next. Unless I'm just that dance. down here. Uh-oh. Electric stock. Shock. I don't know if we could take these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Good job, dog. Okay, I got us out. A posture check. Yes. Let's, let's fix that back and keep it straight. Alright, LA Boneyard. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, and a hydrate. Okay. Oh, and a double dab. Wow. All right. Little activity here. A little stretching. Stay in line. Don't tell me what to do. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, mayor of Aditum. What's up, or what's it to you? Your guard said you had a job for me? I might. Have you ever dealt with a vicious murdering band of thieves before? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've dealt with a few. Good. Then you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The Blades are the worst of them all, I'm afraid. We're a humble, God-fearing town that is only trying to survive, and these, these monsters prey on us. He whispers under his breath, and our children. <laughs> yeah, one of them we've apparently glitched to be hostile, and I don't know where the other two are. Yeah, yeah, that's great. What's the job entail and what's it worth to you? What do you mean, prey on you? Well, the regulators keep them from attacking us outright, but it's all they can do to keep our little community safe. They try to sneak in at night to kill our citizens, or to, to kidnap our children, and he stops a moment to compose himself before continuing. Just last week, one of them burst through the north gate in the middle of the night with dynamite strapped to his body to blow up the regulator's barracks. No doubt to weaken us enough so that they could launch a full-scale attack. What happened to him? Luckily, the regulators killed him before he could complete his plan. I saw his body myself. Hmm. Um, I see. What would you like me to do about it? I'll give you 2,000 caps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. Uh, you seem to have something personal against her. She had my son kidnapped, tortured, and killed. They left him impaled on a post right outside the gates. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'll take the job. The Blades camp is north of here. Come back when you've done the job. Alright, so before I do anything else, I'm going to go do this mission, because otherwise I'm going to forget it, or something weird's going to happen. We're going to miss it. Uh, I, I just... 
I can't remember stuff very well. <laughs> I don't want to forget it. What do you do for a living? I'm a scav. I work with Samuel. Yeah, Samuel. To collect stuff from the ruins so that we can use it to build or trade. How many scavs are there? About a half a dozen of us. Samuel was the first one. Um, give me some info. Okay, well, sounds good. Exactly, Celine, exactly. What can I do for you? May I ask your name? Everyone just calls me Smitty. Probably because I'm a local blacksmith. Can I ask you some questions? Can you make stuff? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload old brass, since I can cast bullets. And I cast bullets! I don't know them by name, but I might know what you're talking about. I'll have to look them up sometime. Fourteen millimeter pistol, dang. All right, nothing else, thanks. I'm looking for a friend. Someone to fight with me. <laughs> um, Alright, I guess I'll ask this. Is there someone I can have join my team here? I definitely wouldn't mind having an ally again, other than dog. The final companion. So I can't get them yet, I take it? I'm quick bind. Oh, it's Samuel. What do you do here? He's a scavenger. Oh, let's see. We scouted out the other areas. But, oh, what about the children of the cathedral? Oh, that's not good. Creatures that aren't human coming in and out of there. And if the stories are right, the church is built over an old vault which Adatum's predecessors lived in. Uh, okay, what about the Death Claws? Well, if you haven't seen them before, they're mean as all hell, like nothing more, and like nothing more than to rip a poor scav's heart out. I've heard there's a nest of them somewhere to the east of the blades, but I haven't seen it myself. Well, that kind of helps with something else we're trying to do. Alright, the blades. The blades are a pretty sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry sight for a group of people. They get by, though, and some of them end up here in Aditum if they agree to what the regulators offer them to do. Uh. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. 
I've seen those guys before. Those guys are fantastic. Yeah, if guys check out that link that Celine just posted. Those videos are funny. Um, all right, I'm good. Or right, actually, barter. What do you have to barter? Nothing. All right, done. Mushrooms, huh? <laughs> the mushrooms are happily growing in the dung. Or dung. Oh, it looks like that's a passage right there. <laughs> a dungeon. Very nice. Well played. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? I'm getting to know the people of Adatum. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Adatum. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming with strangers, though. Yeah, I noticed. They have much to do in a normal day. They don't want, or they do not want their work to be unfinished at the end of the day. Uh, things seem to be a little bit quiet around here. The regulators make sure of that. The people of Adatim sometimes suffer because of their strict rules. And you're okay with this? Since I wish to stay here, I, I accept the regulators as part of that which is Adatim. However, I do what I can to lighten their lives. Is there anything else that you can do? Well, I'm only one person, but help in what way I can. I advise you to fight for what you believe in, but most of all, choose the fights that are worth fighting and find the times when compromise and hope will win greater victories. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just trying to find a helper. He's useful. Right, right, yeah. I figured. Better watch yourself. Oh my. Borrow this, I'll borrow that. Alright, so real quick. First aid is forty one, doctor is thirteen. I gosh, it moves so quickly.
error. All right, so 5% bonus, that's not bad. Gotcha. in here. Not another area to go to. Wait, yeah, there is. Right here. Because this is red, which means I think that's the, go back to the map, but green is like within the town. Sweet. It's just very, very tricky map. Oh, okay, we scroll even more. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, we're in blade territory, it seems. day. See ya. This kid's running like the civilians from XCOM Apocalypse. <laughs> Just run! Run, little crazy guy. Hello, lad. What might you be looking for today? What can you tell me about the Blades? Good group of people is what the Blades are. Stuck here between the damn regulators and death claws ain't meant the happiest life for them, but they survive. Oh, all right. Can I ask you something else? Sure. Who are you? Well, I'm Mick Ray. I held the blades some against Death Claws and that Regulator bunch. Teach them a bit about protecting themselves against those nasties. What kind of stuff do you teach them? Well, my specialty is fighting with my fists and taking a punch or two more than the guy throwing them at me. You think you could teach me anything? You seem to be an alright lad, but me time's busy with keeping the blades schooled. If things were to straighten themselves, I might be having the time then. Me barter? What you got? Hmm. Alright, thanks, dude. Oh, there's a second door. Nice. Awesome. I'm just looking around, thanks. Can I help you? Are you the leader of this gang? Gang? We're hardly a gang, but I am the I am the one they all come to for direction. Uh, Zimmerman sent me. She begins to look nervous. What? Did he? Um, 
to pay you back for killing his son. What? <laughs> I'll kill them. <laughs> I'll send them all to hell. Um, who are you going to send to hell? The regulators. They were the ones that killed Josh. I never would do anything to hurt Josh. It's the regulators who are running Additim, not Zimmerman. Why would the regulators kill Zimmerman's son? Josh lived here with me. Uh, I mean us. He knew the truth behind what was going on. The regulators told him that if he ever tried to contact his father to return to Additim, they would kill him. They laughed at him. They were so sure he couldn't get to his father. Yeah, what a twist. Ooh, excuse me. They killed him? What did he do? Late one night, he tried to sneak into town to tell his father what was really going on. I was monitoring the regulator's radio transmissions that night. The night that they... He got caught. She looks down and shakes her head slowly. Here, it's all on his hollow disk. Why haven't you given this to Josh's father? It's not like any of us could even get close to Adderton. Uh We'd be shot dead before we even reach the gates. Why don't I give him the disc? You would risk your life to help us? Sure, anything for you. Sure, anything to help. I'm not so sure it would help without the threat of violence to back it up. What we really need are some weapons from the gun runners. Oh, here we go. Well, where are these gun runners? Why don't you get some weapons from them? <laughs> oh, well, I offered. Goodbye. I'll just take care of the regulators myself. Could I, though? They're a little to the east of here, but there's a death claw nest between us and them. We have never seen, or we have, we have never even spoken with any of the gun runners. Okay, give me the hollow disc, and I'll go talk to the gun runners before I approach Zimmerman. Thank you. This really could help us. Good luck. She hands you the hollow disc. See you later. Alright, but that still doesn't put someone on my team. <laughs> Out of my way. Yeah, really. But to the east is this way. Have I skipped the person we can get to join us? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, here are the death claws. I'm assuming.
Green River, huh? Well, I know this is in Chicago at St. Patrick's Day. person died very painfully. Okay. No, um, the river that runs through Chicago on St. Patrick's Day, they dye it red, or red, green. Predict predictive programmings. Yeah, I've never seen it live, but I've seen it, like, on the news and stuff. They'll, they'll show it. Boston Celtics is my favorite NBA team. Go Larry Bird. Hey, what's going on? What's your business here? Um... I need to speak to your boss. It's very important. Oh, just that easy, huh? Okay. Dog! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no! Oh, that did not just happen. What the? Oh, okay. Stop him, dog meat. Oh, fantastic. Wait, he's right there? Oh, and there's another one. We have three this time. Deathclaw was critically hit for no damage. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Have me trapped? Really, game? Okay, we're ending combat. Combat's over. <laughs> Smart AI. Ah, oh, jeez. Great, now they put one in the way. Wait, who saw me?
Wow. So my first run, that was awesome, went perfectly smooth, gets foiled because the dog thinks it has to run through radioactive waste. And here we are. Right, at least we took no damage on that first one. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. All right, I need to speak to your boss. So can the dog come across now, or is it always like glitched like that? Come on, buddy. Okay. All right, looks like we're good. Hi, I'm Zach. You want to buy some weapons? Let me see what you have to trade. That's what I was thinking. Can you give me a discount? Yeah, well, until Gabriel says so, you've got to pay full price like everyone else. Fifteen thousand. Okay. Someday. Spiked knuckles. Power fist. Good lord. What's this? Cattle prod. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. Plasma pistol, mini gun, flamethrower, plasma rifle. Some rockets. Wow. What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to talk to you people. Yeah, really. Don't get many vi many visitors. How can I help you? Well, why don't you get many visitors? 
This place isn't very accessible with the nest of those damn death claws right outside our factory. You guys seem fairly well armed. Why don't you go exterminate them? Oh, there you go, Zero Fox. We've done, or we've gone over there and taken out a few, but they always seem to come back. Besides, we're machinists, not fighters. What would you give me if I went in there and took care of them for you? If you could get rid of the death claws once and for all, you could name your price. <laughs> oh, really? How are we supposed to kill them? I have some friends who could really use some of your weapons. You clear out the death claws, all of them, and you got yourself a deal. Okay, I'll do it. So, am I just going to run around the whole map and let dog meat slowly bleed them to death? Uh, so, I guess I'm not getting this helper. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this, is to try to get an ally. Lots of dynamites. Oh, so I'm wasting my time. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh crap, he saw us. Holy crap, you knocked him down? Kind of, yeah. Man, you got a crit. Zero damage. Uh-oh. A serious wound is inflicted. He's catching up to me.
Hmm. I was going to see what happens if I give up my turn to boost my AC and see if I could tank it. I forgot these guys have like four or five attacks. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I mean, I could survive a round. Let's see what happens with one. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not doing that. Keep running. Yeah. And don't forget to save. We'll we'll save after this fight one way or the other. <laughs> Hey, Dogmeat's getting some good rolls. Oh, he finally missed. He's got to be almost dead, right? There you go. Nice! Wow, what a crit. <laughs> that crit did zero. So many serious wounds, too. Is that just a descriptor, or do serious wounds actually do something? Nice! Five and then eleven? Heck yeah. We'll get him someday. Twelve? Dogmeat might be leveling up mid-fight. Six? There we go. Nine. Jeez, twelve.
Oh, can I examine it? Looks almost dead. Oh, a bunch of zeros. Come on now. Oof, five zeros in a row. Dog meat might be getting tired. go. Well, now we need to define what almost means. Got him! <laughs> Piece of cake. GG. <laughs> GG, thank you. Um, end combat. A thousand experience. Man, we learned a lot from that fight. We can do so many better things now. <laughs> Pepe, welcome to the stream. Seems a legit strategy. I mean, technically, if you think about it, if this was real time, we were just chasing like this, going around in circles, and the dog just kept running up, biting, running up, biting, you know? It can be faster with human shooting. Maybe. I don't know. The important thing is we gained a level. Oh, shoot. We're irradiated. <laughs> How irradiated are we? Now sneak to loot the building? Yeah. Uh, but first, I'm really going to crank this up. And then, I think we could do that. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, I, I couldn't recall if that was still causing the irradiation. Alright. Good dog. Um, actually, 
Go ahead and stay here for a moment. Okay. I suppose we could sell this stuff. Oh gosh. So it's been a while for you then, huh? And nothing. All right. Oh, gosh. This bed has seen a lot of use and wear. Something must have crawled between the mattresses and died, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a downstairs. But I'd imagine if we kill this one somehow in the next 15 minutes, there's going to be more. I kind of don't want to put you guys through that. Come on, buddy. Yeah. You don't remember me, do you? Uh, lady? I need you to move, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I guess that's it for up here. So I guess we can go this way. In the heart of the city, a great library, fortified and restored, rises with a forbidding, yet graceful appearance. You feel a sense of peace. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, man. I remember those days. Well, well, well. Robes from the children of the cathedral. It weighs 10 pounds. Kind of heavy robes there.
Oh my. Increase this. <gasps> Three stem packs? What's this? Brad X? Anti-radiation drugs to be taken before exposure, which in the wastes means more or less constantly. No known side effects. Thankfully, they have proven to be non-addictive. Um, I suppose we could take these. I'll take some more, thank you. Heck yeah. Too heavy. I think it's safe to assume these bookshelves are all empty. Greetings, brother. My name is Talius. How might I assist you today? Oh, no kidding. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll go with this. Greetings to you as well. I'm called Quick Mind. How's, how is it that you came into the realm of the followers? My entrance into the followers was quite simple, really. It was the followers who rescued me from the full effects of the transformation into a hideous, or heinous beast. I do not fully understand. Please go on. 
Once, I was as you are now, a pure human. But through the intervention of Nightkin, I was taken to some place far removed from here. I was not of a state in which to observe what transpired. All I had known was that I awoke here and was tended by the good doctor. I am truly sorry to hear of your predicament. I will find those who did this to you and remedy the situation. Okay, yet, yet another quest. I'm just looking for a companion. No, you be quiet. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, what's going on? What do you want? A donut? <laughs> sure. We don't appreciate wise guys here. Buzz off. Wait, they're all telling me to buzz off? What are you doing here? None of your business. Okay. Hmm. Well, That would be pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be neat. those there. Hello, my children. Barter?
<laughs> you can die. <laughs> Let's see how one of the alterations got in. My entrance... Okay, we already went this route. Do you barter? Hmm. What am I missing? I'm just curious as to what is going on around here. I can be persuaded to tell you something that's going on for a price. How much? 300 caps and the information is yours. A little steep, but I think we might need it. Sure. There will be a raid on the south end of the children's stronghold. Now go. Okay, when? That does not give me a companion, though. Crap, so she is in here. The name's Quickmind. What are you doing in L.A. Boneyard? I'm looking for a replacement water chip for my vault. A water purification chip? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Don't see much of that kind of tech here in L.A. Boneyard. Uh, except maybe the stuff Miles works on. Miles? Where can I find him? And could he help? Miles lives in Aditum. He's a scientist, mostly working with chemistry. If anyone could scrounge up a water chip or make a replacement, it would be him. Okay, what can you tell me about that place? That's my original home. A little too boring for me, though. It's a fenced-off and self-sufficient town in the south end of L.A. Boneyard. But not as far as the cathedral. We trade sometimes with the hub. Need to know about the area around the city. A pretty hostile place. Never had the opportunity to leave, though I suppose I... Huh? I've never had the opportunity to leave, though I suppose I'd take it. Let's see, just south of here you have the cathedral. There's some sort of cult there, but I stay away from them. Something sinister is going on there. Also, I've heard about the trading center called The Hub, and caravans occasionally show up, but I've never been there. Uh, I don't plan to stay in this place too much longer myself. No kidding. If you're looking for another hand, I'll sign on. There we go. Better than spending the rest of my existence in this hellhole, right? 
Um, you're a welcome addition, but the desert's not much more fun. Alright, looks like we've got a little ass-kicking to do. I'm called Katya, by the way. <laughs> I Katya! <laughs> cool! We got her, finally. And we got 200 experience for it. Alright, so we got our companion, who I hope sticks around for a while. Uh, what kind of combat, combat skills do you have? I learned how to be a scrapper from my time in L.A. Boneyard. I'm good with knives and submachine guns. My favorite is throwing knives, however. <laughs> Almost no hints. M Mule acquired. Ooh. Um, okay. Uh, sadly with that, guys, I think we're going to have to uh, end it here. Uh, we are running slightly over, unfortunately. And uh, I do have some things I need to get done. Uh, let's go ahead and save on slot 2. We'll leave slot one alone for now. Just in case. Ah. Yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't get very far, but I think I learned a little bit more about things and dealing with that. I don't know if it was glitchy or what, but dealing with what's his name <laughs> fighting us and not being able to figure out what was causing it. I mean, it, I guess it would have been kind of cool to keep him, but I really wanted to get that Skulls quest done as well. So, uh, unfortunately, that's the interesting route we took. So hopefully this is still going to be a, a decent run. I hope this person's good. Uh, but, I mean, any extra damage is good extra damage. Gotcha. Huh. Yeah, and she auto aggro, so there was really nothing we could do. The Urn Escapade. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so we should... Ooh, gosh. Sorry, guys. Mm. We did stay up a little bit late playing last night. Uh, we should be back tomorrow with some more XCOM. Uh, the X Chronicles. Uh, we're kind of hitting a wall there in terms of how to move forward. Uh, I definitely know some of our next steps are going to be uh, building a couple more bases for aircraft and seeing if that can help us boost our score a bit and uh, go from there, I guess. So... We're going to go ahead and end this for YouTube now. So those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.